But now her professor's hearing her sermon. And so that has a bearing on her. Another young student leads in singing. And if, her, if it's just with her peers, you know, that's one thing. But her professor's hearing her. And when she's done, her professor hugs her. So that affirmation enables them to grow in ways that they could not grow if I were not there. We have entered into your house of worship, Lord. Allow your, your words to, to enter into, into our hearts and our minds. We thank you for this opportunity to come together as a community. So, so that we may find joy in praising your name. Thank you for grace, for your grace and mercy. Thank, thank you for bringing us together so that we may glorify your name. He does try to attend the mosque on periodic occasions. He goes to the synagogue. I think part of it is just understanding and learning and knowing the worlds are, that are around us. I think the other thing and, and that sort of describes Paul is also, um, and it's rooted in his faith, but it's more about wanting to have, um, I know it sounds kind of like a cliche, but, but having a world in which we live in where there is peace, where, where nonviolence is, is certainly a core of that, um, the sense of servitude to each other, benevolence, and we were just talking about this the other night, sort of what does it mean to be who we are? And I think part of that comes from our faith as, as Mennonites, but part of it, it just comes from f understanding what, um, what we're supposed to do in, in God's teaching in, in terms of being a good uh, person to other people. The will of God can be done and is being done around the world by many persons who are not Christians. God is not limited to Christianity. God is not even limited to religion. I really do believe in God. I'm passionate about God. God created the universe and is Lord of the universe. And He's wanting us all to fall deeply, madly in love with Him so that voluntarily, willingly, we give ourselves to the will of God the way we give ourselves to our spouses when we first fell in love. And we follow our spouses around like lovesick puppy dogs. To follow God around like a lovesick uh, teenager, embodied in banks, schools, uh, government, uh, building the construction industry. We talked about sports. Can Christians be good football players? Absolutely. <laughs> but they have, the, the industry of professional sports has to find a way to embody the egalitarian, uh, non-coercive kingdom of God. That's what guides me. What God has given him, Paul joyfully gives to others. Watching Paul Parker in his classroom or at home with his family is watching a man alive with religious fervor and happy to share it with the world. He raises the consciousness of his students by educating them on the world's cultures and their connection to their own spirituality. That way they see God in everything they behold. And that's not a bad way to spend the rest of your life. Thank you.